in today's video i am going to discuss the basic formulae on integration so it will immensely help you in solving the problems in exact differential equations so while solving the problems in exact differential equations in few cases we will come across this formulae and see here the first formula is integral 1 dx is nothing but x plus c so integral x bar and dx is nothing but x bar n plus 1 by n plus 1. So here for instance if you take n is equal to 2 x square dx is nothing but x cube by 3 plus c. If you take x, n is equal to 3 x cube dx this will be x bar 4 by 4. If you take x bar 5 it will be x bar 6 by 6. So this is very easy to solve and the next one is integral 1 by root x is nothing but 2 root x. Integral root x is nothing but 2 third x root x plus c. So 1 by x dx is nothing but log x. So integral 1 by x square is nothing but minus 1 by x plus c. So integral e power x dx is nothing but e power x plus c. So integral a power x dx is nothing but a power x by log a plus c. So integral sin x dx is equal to minus cos x dx. Integral cos x dx is nothing but sin x plus c. Integral tan x dx is nothing but log secant x plus c and integral cortex dx is equal to log sin x plus c. So this is very easy to remember as you have uh, already uh, cleared your intermediate examination. So, so it will be very easy to recollect all these when solving the problems. So this is on integration. So the next formula here is integral secant x dx is nothing but log of secant x plus tan x plus c and next Integral cosecant x dx is nothing but log of cosecant x minus cot x plus c. And the next one is integral secant square x dx is nothing but tan x plus c. Integral cosecant square x dx is nothing but minus cot x plus c. This is integral secant x tan x dx is nothing but secant x plus c. And this is integral cosecant x cot x dx is nothing but minus cosecant x plus c. So this is integral 1 by root over 1 minus x square dx is nothing but sine inverse of x. This is most important. This is integral 1 by 1 plus x square dx is equal to tan inverse of x plus c. So in place of uh, 1, so I have a square that is 1 by x square plus a square dx is nothing but 1 by a tan inverse of x by a plus c. So Integral 1 by root over a square minus x square dx is equal to sine inverse of x by a plus c. This is integral 1 by a square minus x square dx is equal to 1 by 2a into log of this is a plus x by a minus x plus c. So here we start with a. Therefore, here also we start with a. a plus x by a minus x. So here if we start with x, this will be x minus a by x plus a. So this is also integral 1 by x square minus a square dx is nothing but 1 by 2a log of x minus a by x plus a plus c. So these are most most important repeatedly occurred in while solving the problems in differential equations. See here this is also integral root over a square minus x square dx is nothing but x by 2 times of again repeat this one root over a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x by a plus c and integral root over x square minus a square dx is, is equal to x by 2 root over x square minus a square minus a square by 2 cos h inverse of x by a plus c and this is integration by parts so this is also most important integral uv d, dx is, is equal to so this is integration by parts first u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus integral we have to make a derivative for u. Whatever we have left here, we have to make a derivative for it. And again, we have to integrate v. And whole integration, that is whole integral dx, it is under integ integration. So, this is integration by parts. So, the next important formula is integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x. So, if we have x square here, the derivative of x square 2x is there here, then we can simply write as e power x into f of x plus c. Straight away, we can write as e power x into x square plus c. So, these are the formulae 
which are very very important before we we go through this one exact differential equations or uh, non exact differential equations or homogeneous so whatever it might be so the differential equations of first order and first degree or higher order so these are most important and repeatedly repeatedly we come across these so please practice while solving the problems and definitely it will be very helpful and i'll be posting the basic definitions of exact differential equations in my next video please have a look at that and if you really like please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and support thank you